about as well. And in this video, we're going to be painting. Well, we'll have a bit of a break from um, the dirt soles because I need to do a one-off miniature. Um, <clears throat> this is for a one-off um, D and D game we're having tomorrow night. Um, and uh, it's just going to be a one-story thing. It's not going to be filmed or anything. Uh, ben wants to have a try. It's uh, me and the DM, so we're going to go with that. So. Ali wants to use this as her um, character model. Um, it's from Dungeon Saga. I cannot for the life of me remember the name of it. I won't be a minute, just need to shut the door. It'll be a sec. This is the mini we're doing. Um, she wants to be a druid. Um, this mini isn't for a druid, but it's the one that she likes the look of out of them all. Um, if I remember rightly, it's the ultimate version of the. Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Of the cleric. Whose name I cannot for the life of me remember, but it will do the job. Um, it will do what we need to do. As I say, it's just for representation purposes. It's not for anything you know, special. If it was for the the full campaign, I'd have got a, a druid figure for it. But it's only, as I say, for a one-off. It'll do for that. So let's get on with it, shall we? Enough prattle. We're going browns, greens, greys, and that's about it really for this one. So for the browns, we'll use that. Um, I think we might throw a little brighter colour in and have that. Um, let's think what else. Let's try that one and that one and we'll see how we go from there alrighty then flesh tones there's not much to see to be honest with flesh um, so we're just going to use a little bit of Kisler flesh which is this colour so we'll just pop a small bit on the um, what should we call it? Palette. Just readjusting some things here, and just a little bit on the palette, just about there. I say it's just because she seems to be wearing a full face shield or mask kind of thing. Bit of armor. So that's about it really, that's all you can see. Um, the next thing we're going to do is because she's wearing that armor, um, I think what I might do is I'm going to zoom out a little bit because on here I've got the previous colours that I've been using for um, the Dark Souls ones and Warp's, Warplock Bronze is here. So I'm going to take a little bit of that only a little bit. And then we're going to take it across from there. And there we go. Um, as I account for the life we remember which character this is. From Dungeon Saga. It's been a long time since I've looked at that game. I'm going to have to go back to it at some point. Um, but uh, 
Um, what's, the, what's the, what's the one I say there? I don't know, I can't remember. I'm just doing this at the moment, so I say just to give that um, just to fill in the um, the metal area that we have there. There we go. Now I am assuming that this is some form of breastplate that she's got, but also this bit should not be on. Um, because it's resin, you can't tell what should be there and what shouldn't sometimes. And it's a bit fiddly to try and get into some of the places. Oh well. Not to worry. So, we're going to use a little bit of yellow using Avaland Sunset. <coughs> now, there's not going to be much of this being used. But I do need a fair bit because I don't know how much is going to be used. So we'll just do that. We'll get get it on our brush, and we'll paint this part. Now this we can also. Um, go over again with a wash and make it a little darker so that when we come to highlight it will look much better. There is something there that really needs to come off. There we go. the other side. Just like so. And let me just paint these in. I'm trying to make sure that we get everything um we need to be this colour. Um, now we have it a little bit there on the knee pads for this character. And we go. That's one done. And the other. Next, we're going to use a little bit of grey. Um, oh, I've got just seen a couple more pieces that need to do with this yellow, which is here. And here. There we go. Next. Next I will find a way of being able to see things clearly. And be able to take off things that I don't need on my models. It would be nice if I could do that. <laughs> ah well, not to worry. 
Next we're going to go grey and we're going to use Eshin Grey which was on the um, palette already. Now Eshin Grey is this one and the Warplot Bronze that we used earlier is that one. Okay, so we're using this Eshin Grey to paint over this area. And I've just noticed there is a gap in between and the spear there. Oh well, not to worry. Not to worry, not important. that grey will have this grey and we'll have this bit grey as well There we go. Now for that. Next, we're going to have um, a little bit of this colour, Lauren Forest. <coughs> and that's going to go on the palette. Again, not sure exactly where it's going to go. Well, not, not not where it's going to go, how much it's going to go. How much I'm going to use, rather. But, I'm going to get some on. And that's going to be in all the soft areas here. Like the sleeve. And I think I should have... Yes, I should have, definitely. She does look as though she's wearing gloves, so I'm going to come back and paint her hands in a moment and uh, also I've seen a few places that I've missed slightly with the um, primer but again not to worry and there we are We've had a fine dusting with the primer, so I've not covered every single piece with it, but I've covered the majority of it, so it should be alright. <coughs> we're just going to make sure that all the areas that we need this colour is done this colour. So we're just looking at the soft areas of the green. Um, I'm even going to do the legs this colour as well because I'm thinking she's wearing like a one piece outfit underneath her armour. And that will do for that. Next, what we're going to do is a lighter grey. Um, for that lighter grey, we're going to use a little bit of, if there's any left, 
there's not much so I'm going to get some of the um, Eshin Grey and the um, whatchamacallit grey that we did, um, Powered Witch Flash. And we're going to go use that to go around these yellow areas here. There's still a few parts of that that haven't turned the yellow very terribly well. And there's some that I've just painted over with the grey, so I'm going to go back with the yellow in a moment. back in with the yellow to this part here that I saw hadn't where I've been covered and the bit here that I accidentally painted over anyway. There we go. Now the next paint we're going to be using is <clears throat> Bane Blade Brown. This is going to be the cape. I'm going to get that on the palette and then I'm going to change my brush because it's a fairly biggish area to paint. And we're not going to keep it as Bane Blade Brown, we are going to mix in some of the green we've already used in with it, but not a great deal. Just a paint blade brown. A little bit of that green. And some of the Everland Sunset. And that is what we're going to use on here. There we are. And the reason I'm doing this is because I can go back later on and use the um, Bain Blade Brown for other areas that I might like to do instead of having to mix a different colour then. I'm going to do it now and get it over with. Plus I didn't think Bain Blade Brown was much of a colour to use for a colour like this or for an area like this. trying to get everywhere with it but the model seems to have mind of its own and won't allow me to get to certain places but still I'm going to carry on <laughs> and I will come back to a smaller brush in a moment to make sure I've got everywhere that I need to and Now we change all the brushes. Just like so.
We'll just keep working at it until we get all the areas it coloured the way we want them. It might take some time, but be patient. Where are we at? Next, we're going to go back into the pale grey that we mixed earlier because I want to go around some of the yellow areas again. Because I don't think I did this area. this area. In fact in the case I don't think I did, I didn't do it. There we go. And now what I want to do is go back into the flesh colour that we used and get her hands done. Now I said earlier really, this is for a, a one-off D&D session that we're doing tomorrow night. Um, it's going to be interesting because I'm playing something that I've not played before, which is a Dragonborn Cleric. Um, whether you can have one or not, I don't know, but I'm having one whether you like it, whether you like it or not. Um, for the simple reason, I've never played a Cleric before, and I've never played... Um, Dragonborn before. In fact, I don't think any of those of any of us who've been playing for a while have played Dragonborn. Not with me, anyway. Not when I've been there. So I thought I'd give it a try. I might like it then again. I might not. But for a one-off, doesn't make any difference either way. There we go. Next, we're going into brown. And the brown I've picked is Doombull Brown. So I'll pop some of that on the palette. And as you can see, the palette, the paper in the palette is uh, actually drying up a bit. So I'm going to have to get a move on with this. And this is going to be on the belt her area here on these flasks whatever they may be and Basically anywhere that I haven't already painted is going to be painted this colour. Now we will mix it up somewhat in a moment because I don't want it all looking the same. Um, so I don't want, I don't want them all looking uh, the same shade of brown. So when it comes down to um, washing this, we'll use different washes for different areas. Now we're not going overboard with the washes either. And there we are. That's that done. Now I'm going to mix in to this Doombull Brown a little bit of the um, Burn Blade Brown to change the colour. And I'm also going to add some of the green into it as well. And this colour is going to be used 
for the boots. And we'll just go around the boots completely. I should have gone around those parts as well with that pale grey colour. But we'll come back to that a little later. And we've found other areas now that don't need to be there. So we'll just pull them off. Just like that. Um, a little more to do. Not all that much. That's my problem sometimes. I'm looking for different things. I'm seeing things, but I'm not actually seeing things, if you know what I mean. Um, so how many times have I gone back into the grey to paint around some of the yellow bits because I've not done them and I'm still finding areas I've not done with it. But that's one of those things. So I'm trying my best to get every word done. If I were not to this one now, it doesn't make any difference because I've finished with it anyway. So going back to the pale grey that we mixed earlier. go back to that and just give it a bit of a touch with it. It's not much different to the actual colour of the primer but just to make sure we get every word how we want it that's why we're doing it. As you can see I'm trying to avoid using metal on this um, for the moment it's not going to last long because I'm going to have to go for metal for the blade of the um, spear, but I'm actually now looking for this one, which is dryad back, and this is going to be for the shaft of the spear, as you could probably guess. There we are. It's um, one of those kind of things at the moment. With this not being a complete whole sculpt, but so it's a game piece. It's not a what you call it. It's not an exhibition piece. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm not really bothered about. Um, I'm not really bothered about it being um, that little gap there. I can always try melting it afterwards and see if that helps. Um, I doubt it, but the choice, the options are there. And now I'm going back into the wall plot bronze and I'm going to go over the blade with this and this is going to be highlighted later on with um, a brighter metallic colour and I will be melting this a little bit to uh, try and get the bend out of this part of the mini um, it's uh, so it might help then again it might not we'll find out later when it does but you can do that after it's painted because these are after all acrylic paints and they will bend they are pure they are 100% waterproof so they'll bend they won't crack 
on the miniature bends so don't worry about that and they certainly won't come off they are water based but the difference is between normal wa watercolor and acrylics is that acrylics when they dry they dry oh, that's not terribly dry <laughs> um, acrylics when they dry they dry waterproof whereas watercolor paints don't they still react to water so if you've done a watercolor painting and you get it wet you've ruined it if you're doing acrylic painting and you get it wet you've washed it basically <laughs> so that's it for that that's all I can do for the time being the painting wise now we are going to touch a little bit on um, washes um, now I don't want to do a strong wash on the cape so I'm not going to um, so I don't want that one I want mm. Bieltan Green that's the wash we're using for the cape um, and run this over there we go it's a much paler green so I'm also going to do this over the yellow areas as well just to give it that little bit of a different look And also blot over the brown areas that we did earlier. So it's the cape, this little sash thing here. I call everything a sash if I don't know what it's called. to the inside of the hood as well get that done I'm not forgetting these areas oh, I forgot the sleeves and the legs and so I don't want it to dark. I want, it to be, I want it to be quite bright but yet muted if you get me drift. I want to use muted colours but I don't want them incredibly not, I want to use earth tones but not incredibly uh, dull earth tones because this I want to use as a Dungeon Saga Mini not a and d Mini so I just fit in with the other minis I've done for Dungeon Saga rather than doing it the way I've done the uh, D and D minis I've already painted. There we are. That's the green wash. Next on the greys, we're going to have a wash of Dragon Off Nightshade. This is just to go on the breastplate more than anywhere else. Oh, I'm not forgetting the elbow protectors. There we go. I'd better go over the boots as well. Just to darken them down a bit because the boots didn't turn out the way I wanted them. So that's it for the time being. That's all we can do. Oh, almost forgot. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Almost forgot, we have hands. 
right on flesh shade will take care of those. <laughs> so, again, trying hard not to let it completely flood the area. Just touch on. in here as well that will do that's all we have for this because we can't do anything more until that dries so until next time as always take care god bless and bye for now